quick little video before this thing goes away. Um, cause I had to, these actually aren't mine, so I'm, I'm still dealing with, well actually this one's mine, but before I, I got to give this back to a guy. Um, one thing to realize on the difference between a wide angle lens and a narrow lens. Okay. Hopefully that's coming through in the middle of the video. The wide angle lens obviously has a little bit, you know, wider rear, rear. And it doesn't give you a wider field of view. It's not a fisheye lens of any sort. And uh, when we, we use these things, the main, the main thing is that for the guy with one of these, what you're going to do is, I turn these on, I have the lens caps on. This one, really good for vehicle drivers or somebody who's in kind of a movie bouncy position. Because if this one moves around a little bit, you still get pretty straight on night vision. If this one moves around a little bit, then what happens is you can you can lose your image a little more. So this one's a little more sensitive to making sure your headgear is adjusted and all that kind of stuff. If you're doing some CQB style shooting, some guys will really like this. Um, for seeing in the dark, you can of course adjust the brightness on that and uh, still see your, your sights through it or use a laser. And you, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a collimator type effect as far as the night vision goes. Um, I think they call that collimator. But, but basically, you know, you don't have to be looking through it directly straight in order to get your image. This one, you got to be looking through it pretty straight. Now, in spotting these things, the other thing you got to notice is this one has the lip so that you can put the different eye cups on. Now, this one's the weapon style eye cup. Uh, part of a weapon kit won't fit on these because there's no lip to hold it on. I mean, it, that's just, it, there's no, you know, none of that stuff. But basically, it's a miniaturized version of what a lot of people might remember from the PVS-4. You, you press that in. When that's pressed up against your face, a little iris thing opens up and allows you to see through it. And when it's pressed up that close to your face, you, you, there's hardly a difference between the two. The thing is with this, you can put this on a little bit more of a long eye relief situation. And it's less stressful to wear for longer periods of time. The downside of it only has to do with using, not being able to use any kind of an eye cup with the thing. Although some people could improvise something on here. The downside is that it does light up your face a little bit. Now, that's only going to be visible through night vision equipment or somebody who's so close they're going to see you anyway. But um, that's the main difference between the rear lenses. On the battery compartments, we're going to do a little bit different.